Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the 21st episode of Hartford to the Premier League. Um, as you can see, we are going to play Chippenham away, but first of all, let's have a quick look at the fixtures. So, not going to try and hide it. I think the last game we played, we we beat Maidenhead 2-0, Bangura and Trebs getting the goals in that match. We've kind of carried on the same sort of form. We've been winning a few matches, but unfortunately we've picked up a few too many losses for my liking. Um, so the next match we actually lost 2-1 uh, sorry, to Redditch at home. Um, I don't like losing at home, but I've done it three times recently and I've been winning away. So maybe I might have to adjust my home tactic. Uh, but they are bigger teams, they are better teams, so that might just be why. And I'm just catching them off guard in my away tactic. So we actually drew against Welling, 1-0, uh, John Edwards getting the goals there. Picked up a nice 1-0 victory against Mangotsfield before our Southern League Cup quarter final. Bangura scoring the only goal of the match. Uh, we won 3-0 against Totten in this Southern League Cup quarter final. I think they're in the league below us, so it was quite decent that we actually got the win there. It was quite necessary as well. Um, Trebs getting two goals and James Roach picking up the other one. Unfortunately, in what was an incredible match, we lost 3-4 against Kettering. If we just have a quick look at the minutes of goals scored. Uh, so they went 1-0 up with Elliot Buchanan, who actually got four goals in four shots on target. I know, I've been FM'd, but what I scored four with three on target, so what are you going to do? Um, Buchanan took the lead. Um, then we went 1-0. They went 2-1 up. <laughs> then 2-0. Then I actually went 3-2 up. In the 55th minute, I was 3-2 up, and unfortunately, I just couldn't hold it. Um, I stupidly stayed controlling when I should have probably gone counter, considering they are a better team. But um, all the marking in the world couldn't stop Elliot Buchanan that day. He got four goals, a 9.8 rating. So I was disappointed, but when a player plays that well, you can't stop them. Um Similarly, against Weymouth, it wasn't as close. James Roach actually scoring an own goal. Anthony Watson and Simon Trebs getting a goal. Um, we lost 4-2 against Weymouth. At heart in Fabery Park, which is disappointing. But the attendances are increasing a little bit each time. Um, 83, 62, 86, and then 117, 119. So... Hopefully the attendances will increase a little bit more. We have 200 seated and 7,000 capacity stadium and we're feeling like 1.2% of it at the moment, which is quite depressing. It's the league's lowest. Not sure why that is. I mean, we've got back-to-back -back promotions. You'd expect the town to sort of rally and come and watch our matches. I mean, if I knew that Hartford Town, I actually follow them on Twitter. Um, if I knew that Hartford were getting promoted, which are not, they finished 19th last season. But if, if they were getting promoted and they'd, they were one season away from the Screw South, then I definitely would go and watch their matches. I mean, it's a bit disappointing. It's quite unrealistic as well. But that's something that hopefully they can look forward, uh, look forward to changing in FM15. Um, attendance is not going up enough during promotion. So luckily, before this match we recovered our morale a little bit and we actually beat Brackley 1-0 Anthony Watson grabbing the only goal there at St James's Park um, I'm guessing that's just a coincidence it's not actually St James's Park hence the 284 um, capacity or not capacity um, attendance so we have a look at our squad quite quickly um, I'm already in it players um, Jim Miller's still playing quite well for us. If we go to selection info, appearances, James Roach has actually played, and and, and Andy Musto, should I say, have played the most matches. Um, Andy Musto hasn't scored any more goals from free kicks, which is quite disappointing. Adam Griffiths, though, is picking up a few more goals. Trebs and Watson are also chipping in. Trebs actually has five in 11 starts. Uh, Bangora also with five. So... We're not too disappointed. I mean, we don't have an out-and-out -out goal scorer, someone who's banging them in every game, but I don't really expect one at this level, especially with um, the statistics. I think Tr Simon Trebs, yeah, six finishing, six composure. Pretty crap, to be honest, but that's the kind of stuff I have to deal with. 
Bangura obviously is still Bangura, but he's getting on and his stats are decreasing. Um, we have a quick look at where we are in the league. You can see we're 18th. Um, have the bigger view. 18th after 20 matches, 8 wins, 2 draws and 10 losses. Want to kind of keep the wins over the losses if we can. Um, if we did that, then we'd potentially be in the same place as Truro. Um, but as you can see, the league is still ridiculously tight. Um, from set fifth, I think it is, to, uh, should we say 21st? There's actually only uh, eight points. So fifth to 21st is eight points. That's pretty incredible. Um, we actually have a game in hand as well. So if we win that, we will move, hopefully, oh, this match, obviously, we will hopefully move up to around 11th. Um, in terms of goal difference, We'll probably move up to 14th um, unless we score six goals this match, but I don't think that's going to happen. So uh, we're going to go into the match and we'll submit, not this team because I don't know what it is. Okay, so it's our um, away tactic, Butcher. I think Butcher and they should swap definitely. Um, Scott on the left, who is, oh, I'm not even playing him in his best position. Defensive winger, okay then. Uh, you can play fine as a winger, Watson, and Trebs as a target man. Miller as an anchor. Um, Musto, Howell, Roach. If, if you can see, Musto's on the left, and that's because Tony Walker actually picked up a knock. It's quite disappointing, but something that you have to deal with. Luckily, we don't have many injuries um, at this point. So we, we'll... Don't want to like uh, tempt fate though, so we have Tony Walker out for four to five weeks. It's quite a while for our first choice left back, but hopefully we can get through this game without him. So we're going to. Oh, why did I just do that? I'm an idiot. Sorry, guys. Let me just quickly do this, and it was Howell and Mullen, and then they swap round. Okay, so we'll submit this team. All with quite good um, fitness ratings. Did hire a few fitness um, coaches. If you want, then um, I'll have a look. In I'll show you my staff and show you um, the standard of them because it's always important to increase staff and increase training levels. And I know training might seem like um, quite a complex topic for those of you people that might be new to FM, but trust me, it's extremely easy. So. If you guys want me to do anything to do with training or um, the way to increase the star um, rating on training or individual um, like training schedules, then let me know and I'll create a video on it. I'm more than happy to. Very good save though for Booth as we stupidly, I don't know what that was, play it straight into the path of Chippenham. So 18th in the league isn't too disappointing. I mean, we've played 20 games now in the season. I'm fairly happy with 18th. If we finish there, I'd probably be a little bit disappointed as we go 1-0 down. Brownlee scoring from the left-hand side, slotting it in the bottom right. But I wouldn't be too disappointed, but I would hope to finish above 15th. Not really... Come on, Trebs. Yes, what a finish. one all. Very good goal. I've completely gone off my train of thought. But yeah, hopefully finish above 15th and see where we can go for the season after that. Might have to be some sacrifices in terms of wages. Um, either reducing players' wages or increasing, uh, like getting better players on higher wages and just risking our finances for one season. Um to hopefully get into the Skrill South. I think that's the main aim for the next, I'd say, three seasons. I reckon it'll take us around three seasons. So I'm not sure whether to try and do it big and make big signings that I hope will push us there or do it a much slower process, which might take around four or five seasons. Um, I don't know, though. Let me, let me know what you want, guys. Um, as always, any contribution from you guys is more than welcomed any uh, comments just obviously you know where to put them down below down the descript 
below the description in the comments box. It's always nice to speak to you guys, so even if you want to just chat, then just say it. Say something in, in the comments box. I'm more than welcome to reply to them. So, 71st minute, we're actually going to make a few substitutions. Our defence is poor, but we don't. Mm, Asabu J can come on instead of Marsden, actually, um, who has been pretty underwhelming. Norma Bell can come on instead of Butcher, and Tom Scott isn't playing great, so... Mm, Bangura on the left. Yeah, okay, we'll bring on Bangura as a de defensive winger. I don't think he's ever played there before. Stuart Harvey's getting too much space. I'd be happy with one or draw away. So, uh, hopefully this is our highlight. Yes. Oh, how did he not get to that? That's poor play from Watson. Oh, God. Oh, my days. What a block. I think that was missing. But that was an incredible block. From Musto, I think it was. Wow. <laughs> 86th minute. If that happened, I would have been extremely annoyed. Okay. Let us just defend, guys. They clearly want to try and win this match. So, let's just go defensive. Oh, God. Collect that roach, thank you. Come on, counter. Watson, what are you doing with it? Play it in the middle. Trebs. Trebs. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my days. Trebs with a double rebound and then Mullen just can't finish it. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna end there, guys. Oh, what a way. We could have could have won that match. Oh dear. I'm not too disappointed, but what a highlight to end this match on. Uh, and end the episode on. As you can see, we are down in 19th after that draw. 27 points from 21 games. Can't say I'm disappointed. Hopefully aim for, I think there's 40, 42 matches. No, there's 23, 24 people. So 46 matches in a league. If we aim for around 60 points, or oh, 55 points, I'd say, from 46 matches, then I would be very happy with that. That would probably see us, I'd say, about 10th, 11th, maybe, if a few teams start dropping off and show themselves as people that might get relegated. But thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then obviously click that like button. You don't know how much it helps. Just to know that you guys are excited for the next episode. Um, so thank you for watching and I will see you guys on the next episode.